What's up everyone, we are back with another Sage review. This time we are going to start it off with Travis Coward Combustion, which is a returning entry to Sage. It starts off with Travis who has his body invaded by some demon spirit that was running away from the police. So the demon spirit, once inside of Travis's body, he can see his thoughts and see how he is a cowardly loser. And basically he kind of like just tells him to like, you know, be a man, try to like hype him up to make him a better person. And uh, pretty much him and, and Travis start running around and beating up enemies. It pretty much works like a beat em up game. I really don't know exactly what the plot is of this game, except for maybe he's trying to make Travis more of a, a confident, less of a nerdy type of person. So pretty much the game just runs around. It's like a beat em up. And it reminds me so much of Beautiful Joe. Next is a demo called Trinity Heart Wanted Dead. This is this game is actually okay. It starts you off with a tutorial, teaches you the controls. It has controller support, but my goodness, this game is extremely difficult in my opinion. It's not necessarily hard because of the level itself or the enemy placement, but more because of the aesthetic, the aesthetic of the stage. So, like, there's so many platforms that look like you can land on them, but you actually can't. And like, you know, there's so many platforms that like you can land one but it looks like you shouldn't be able to so it's, it's just really weird you know it just kept throwing me off i just kept trying to jump into areas i thought was okay but it actually wasn't kept jumping to my death things like that so it's pretty weird uh i tried to put in as much time as i can to get some footage for this game but I, I don't think i was able to pass like the first level or something it was just very rough to play in my opinion and I feel like it does have potential, but there's just too much going on for me aesthetically for me to be any good at it. So next is Turbo Leaper. And this game is really simple. You simply just wake up, leave your house and start adventuring. It doesn't tell you how to do any other controls or anything like that, but there's no need to because you're pretty much just walking and jumping. The controls are very simple. So you're just running around, jumping on rodents head to kill them. And uh, yeah, like I said, you can't really do anything outside of just walk and jump. So as pri as primitive as this game is, I just kept playing it. You know, I was just like, you know what? I'm going to just keep playing this. And eventually I just got stuck. So there was like an area I got to that I didn't know how to proceed. I don't know if that was like the end of the demo or what, but I just pretty much shut it down after that. I'd say that this game is okay at best. It's nothing special about it unless you want to count the fact that it does have controller support. Next is Undercroft Warriors, and it's a game that I played at a previous age, although I feel like it is so much more enjoyable this time. Uh, it plays like a game I believe that's called Vampire Survivors. So uh, it's just like you're this warrior who I believe is like a samurai and you're like on the screen and you're running around and like all of these enemies are trying to attack you from all different angles and you just have to keep your distance to avoid like touching them to take damage and you just use your attack you know you swing your sword around and start attacking enemies and then sometimes they drop items and you can pick up additional items like mini guns and SMGs to aid you in your fight. So I ended up playing this game way longer than I should have. It was actually a bit addicting. I'm not going to lie. This game is really good and it's actually the best game that I've played from this session. Uprush is a 2D platformer in which you have to keep your character above this white line that is on the screen because if you're below it, your health will start to deplete. So I'm going to get right to the point and say that this game was actually trash in my opinion. I played it for like 30 seconds. It's just horrible. Veredilia is a 2D platformer that has you selecting one of these three furry girls to play as. And it's kind of like a Sonic the Hedgehog game, you know, like you're running fast, you're going through loops, bouncing off of springs and fighting robots. So um, as you're running fast and going through the loops like Sonic the Hedgehog, you actually go about attacking the enemies in a different way. So you can do like combos of punches and kicks to defeat them. And there's also a health bar and um, when you defeat the enemies, they'll sometimes drop items that you can pick up that will refill your health bar. So uh, it's an okay, it's an okay game. I feel like I could have enjoyed it a bit more if I didn't play it on such a small screen. 
Uh, that was probably something on my part, most likely. But yeah, I think it was actually an okay game. And with that, I'm going to end it here. The next video will actually be the final video for the Sage Indie Game Showcase. So I'll be diving into that one soon. Uh, as always, thank you guys for watching and supporting the channel. And I will see you all later. And I will provide the links for these games in the description below. Thank you once again for watching. Till next time, my friends.